Hello, so this is a video lecture series of basic VHDL coding. So we are going to discuss uh, in this video how to write the behavioral code for a OR gate. So I have uh, given the truth table of OR gate here and there is a uh, behavioral coding of OR gate. So how uh, simply we can write using VHDL the OR gate in digital electronics. Uh, so the OR gate is a, a Boolean gate. Uh, so its functioning can be explained with the help of a truth table and how to write its behavior uh, using two uh, methods we will be discussing here and let us see the behavioral code of OR gate. So first I have listed out both the uh, library files library IEEE semicolon also use IEEE dot std underscore logic underscore 1164.all so these are the two library files imported to the program so uh, it will take care of all the inbuilt functions or the functions that we use in the code next is uh, the entity so there is only one entity or one functional unit being uh, discussed or being coded here so there is only one entity entity then after that there is entity name that you have that you have to give uh, is then after that there is port inside the port we will discuss or we will we'll, uh, we will give all the signals so how to write an entity and all we have already discussed in the earlier uh, video the in the basic uh, video of entity we have discussed that so inside this port we will be listing out all the signals there are input signal output signal in out signal various types of signals is there so here for this uh, code there is only uh, input and output signals there are two input signals uh, that are the input of the OR gate then there is an output signal which is F which will be the output that is getting affected by these input signals so X is in std underscore logic y is in std underscore logic that implies that they are input signals f is out std underscore logic so that uh, says that it is an output signal then end entity name so whatever entity name you have used here you have to use it the same here as well after that architecture then you have to give an architecture name of whatever entity you are going to describe in this architecture give that entity name is then after that begin then I am writing this code inside a process so process X comma Y so X and Y are the uh, the signals that is uh, means that is controlling this uh, functionality so X and Y are being given in the uh, in the process sensitivity list then begin if X equal to 0 and Y equal to 0 then output will be equal to 0 for what whatever condition uh, whatever else condition is uh, happening or coming f will be equal to 1 and if end process then end uh, architecture name so whatever architecture name you have used here you have to use here as well then using another method you can write the architecture which is a very simple method yeah another method we have used here is directly by using the boolean function or or boolean logic or so we know that here if x and y equal to 0 f will be 0 x and y equal to 1 means f will be 1 if x or y any of this is 1 means also f will be equal to 1 that is the or gate in uh, boolean logic right so f equal to x that is f is assigned the value of x or y so this is this or uh, means that we are applying a boolean function or semicolon so this is the this function or the statement will take care of all the functionality then end the architecture name yeah so this is how we will write the uh, behavioral code of a or gate in vhdl logic please continue watching this series uh, for finding out the behavioral code of other uh, boolean functionalities or boolean uh, logics or boolean gates we will be discussing many other things also towards the end of this series.